Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day's trading session, Monday, the 9th of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the Google Play and the Apple App Store app in order to stay updated. Okay, now in terms of uh, market stats, it certainly seems that the FTSE 100 certainly is defying gravity once again. Very, very impressive move. Very, very impressive move. In terms of the European stats, FTSE 100 up 27 points, up 0.38%. That's even with Brexit uncertainty, given uh, Mr. Theresa May's comments over the weekend in terms of a potential hard Brexit. That's how it's been interpreted. Okay, and Sterling certainly uh, breaking that 1.22 zone and certainly uh, uh, triggering this potential short squeeze or define. Well, this is, it's, a, it's a gravity defying potential move. Uh, given the fact that uh, the FTSE 100 really is focusing on a weaker currency and obviously uh, stronger earnings in terms of that weaker currency from abroad. And that's all it literally cares about. You had oil down almost $2 today. FTSE 100 didn't even blink. Uh, you also had the uh, concerns, obviously, with Brexit, etc. FTSE didn't blink. We also had stronger housing data. The, the FTSE didn't blink either. So we uh, have inflation, obviously, increasing down the road. We have uh, house prices certainly going moving higher as well. It certainly is a going is going to be a conundrum for the uh, the BOE going forward, especially the uh, uncertainty regarding Brexit. And also, there were comments from Miss Merkel today as well, saying that uh, if uh, if the four uh, obviously key points or key agreements in terms of the eurozone and Merkel, if Britain doesn't accept the EU's four freedoms in Brexit negotiations, we will have to talk about restricting access. To the EU single market. So whether or not she's playing bluff or blow a bluff, or she's uh, trying to play this game of potential chicken, etc., I've got no idea. But it really is confusing, okay, in terms of the FTSE 100. So the FTSE 100 certainly uh, remaining bullish. It's very hard to short the FTSE at the moment, even especially when oil prices fall almost two dollars, and the FTSE certainly doesn't blink at all. You have the DAX down 35 points. Uh, again, that was due to the number one, obviously stronger inflation data in the eurozone. Uh, get the ECB obviously turning towards a hawkish stance and also there was a uh, comment from Mr Gabriel I think if I can recollect correctly talking about a potential breakup of the eurozone as well also German bank uh, certainly did uh, have an issue a comment with regards to preparing for higher interest rates down the road okay and that certainly did keep the euro afloat and supported and therefore obviously that's negative for the uh, the European markets now we did actually have German data come out very strong this morning as well Stronger exports, stronger imports, and again, Germans certainly will be more than happy to uh, see uh, an interest rate rise, and that obviously is, doesn't bode well for the rest of Europe. So again, interesting uh, uh, comparison and contrast between the FTSE and the rest of the European markets. Now, the daily chart of the Euro 350, you can certainly see here we had a bearish engulfing candle today, certainly registered, so you have a bearish engulfing candle. We have this key resistance obviously here and here certainly holding well okay so bearish engulfing candle certainly looking towards weakness there now ever since we put in a potential topping tail the market certainly has remained weak okay we did actually push higher than obviously we, we sold off into the close uh, in terms of the markets going forward you do have support around this region on the s p 350 european market so again keep an eye on that in terms of the german dax let's bring this up for you now the German DAX on the daily chart certainly remains a week now, okay, given this uh, bearish engulfing candle today. Uh, 60 minute chart at the moment, you certainly have a potential bear flag scenario where we're just consolidating and then obviously looking to potentially flush lower. Again, given the fact that you have hot, stronger inflation, stronger German data, the market certainly is subscribing to the theory that uh, we're going to potentially raise rates. Uh, the ECB is going to taper and therefore it's going to be bearish for European equities. So, again, uh, certainly um, be aware of that potential uh, argument as well okay German DAX 10 minutes we did actually rally towards a close which is pretty impressive okay so certainly bounced off that potential support zone here okay so double bottom support around this zone we are into resistance though now though so bear that in mind you are into horizontal resistance around the 11,560 after touching 11,520 and the whole concept is is that you are making a lower high on the German DAX the French CAC at the moment, again, bearish engulfing candle on the French CAC, again, bearish setup, okay. You do have this H&S formation still active, and again, we're just basically consolidating here for a potential bear, bear flag. So again, if I am going to short, it's going to be European equities, especially after today. 
Uh, the FTSE 100, again, like I said, ha did not blink twice or even once to a large extent. I think the lowest we got to was about 7207 and then it just literally ripped higher. So again, you have to respect the strength. OK, you have to respect the strength. If I go to the FTSE 100 chart, you can see why we have to respect the strength. The daily chart, clear, clear breakout, clean breakout. OK, weekly chart, clean breakout so far. OK, uh, the only argument I have with the downside in terms of the FTSE is the unfilled gap here. You have an unfilled gap at 7115, and that's not exactly healthy. So it's telling you the FTSE is going to pivot back, right back towards that figure. Okay, that's what it's basically telling you. So again, certainly take that on board. Pivot R3 resistance is seen at 7250, so watch out for 7250. And you did have a topping tail initially until we actually started to float higher again towards the close. Okay, so uh, FTSE itself did actually breach that 7240 resistance towards the close. Especially after hitting a low of 7217, it just literally ripped, okay, and short squeezed higher quite powerfully, okay. So again, that needs certainly needs to be respected too, okay. Right. Uh, in terms of the euro stocks, let's bring up the euro stocks now, folks. Okay, euro stocks, here we go. So again, euro stocks certainly remains weak from my perspective. Bearish engulfing candle on a daily chart. Uh, you have weekly chart into resistance as well. So it's been struggling ever since into this key zone. 60 minute chart and the euro stocks again you've got this potential uh, double top triple top now and we're basically all we're doing now is putting in a lower high and then obviously looking to put in a lower low down into this 3280 zone so looking for 3280 on the uh, on the actual euro stocks so let's see if we can actually uh, achieve that okay so i think that's a good summation for now in terms of european equities uh, eu equities certainly weak given the stronger inflation theme Stronger economic data justifying tapering, etc. So again, European equities certainly on the short side. In terms of the FTSE 100, nothing can stop this uh, juggernaut at the moment. Okay, it's all about uh, a weaker currency unless we see a a a, uh, a sharp rise in the currency. Okay, um, whether it's a, a interpretation of a soft Brexit or whether it's some sort of agreement between the EU and the uh, the UK, etc., etc. Uh, literally, I mean, oil has failed to, to to force it lower. Brexit concerns have failed to force it lower. So, uh, the only catalyst really is for uh, oil, um, or should you say, sterling. But we continue to trade accordingly. If there is weak data, okay. We had labour market conditions in the US today, certainly weaker, and uh, we had weaker jobs data on Friday. So again, one would argue that uh, you are erring towards the side of the bearish stance. But for now, again, technically, it's very hard for you to argue. That this market needs to reverse. Yes, there is one argument. You have an unfilled gap below at 7125 or 7115. But we need to see further signs. Now, on 10-minute chart, you certainly had that today. You had a double top, triple top. Ideal scenario down to gap fill, potentially even down to this support zones here at 7190 and 7180. After that double top, triple top intraday. And that certainly hasn't been the case. I mean, every other double top here, double top, we fall quite prolifically. And then obviously we, we break out retest the breakout and then we rip out rip higher again so interesting okay interesting scenario to say the least but we keep trading and we continue and let's see what tomorrow brings on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs goodbye now